is nutritional endocrinology. As the founder of the Institute of Nutritional Endocrinology and the leader, founder, host of the Nutritional Endocrinology Program for Practitioners, a lot of people ask me that question all the time. Well, what exactly is nutritional endocrinology? So welcome back to the channel where we help health and wellness practitioners really get to the root cause and use nutrition and lifestyle and diet to help people to heal. And we help people to heal using those same strategies. And today's episode, we're going to talk about how, what nutritional endocrinology is and how you can use it in your life or in your practice to help support yourself or your patients, clients to get truly well. So I'm Dr. Rita Marie Boscalzo, and let's just get started. Uh, well, so nutritional endocrinology, two words that you put together, common words, right? Nutritional, we know what that means. It's, it's, nutrition is related to nutritional is related to nutrition nutrition is related to how we nourish the body i think about nutrition and nourishing the body as more than just the food we eat which the food is just a big part of it but it's also how we nourish the body in terms of what we listen to what we put on the body what we're exposed to the relationships that we enter into everything that goes in and on the body is how we nourish it and we either nourish it or we anti-nourish it right so that's what I think about for nutritional and then endocrinology is the study of hormones and how they work in the body. We know that endocrinologists are doctors who study hormones, who work with the various hormones and glands in the body. But here's the where the misconception comes in is that when people think of endocrinology of hormones they think of sex you know they think of testosterone and estrogen and progesterone they think of diabetes right so the insulin part of that equation a lot of them now think about thyroid hormone because thyroid is a common it's a common imbalance that we see over and over again in our society but there's more to it than that. So endocrinology is the study of all the hormones that control the body. So did you know that the digestive tract is controlled by hormones? There's so many more hormones in the digestive tract than are produced by just about all the other hormone con considered glands and hormone producers in the body by most people. So there's, I don't know, 20 something that I know about, and there's probably a bunch more that do jobs like help stimulate the secretion of stomach acid, stimulate the contraction of the gallbladder to release bile, stop the secretion of stomach acid, stop the secretion of bile, signal to the pancreas that food is coming and it needs to get ready and all that more. So the digestive tract is actually controlled by that. So when we think about nutritional endocrinology, we think about the nutrition, the things we put on and in our body that help us to control the hormones. So, so far we're talking, you know, the digestive tract, right? We're talking the blood sugar balance with insulin. We're talking about the sex hormones. We're talking about the thyroid, but there's a lot of other hormones in the body. And there's a lot of other functions that are controlled by endocrine gland and endocrine function. And a lot of people ask all the time. So, so what are they, right? What does the endocrine system control? What is endocrinology the study of? And quite frankly, endocrinology is the master controller of the body because every system in the body works by stimulating the release of or by accepting the release of hormones. So every cell in the body has receptors for hormones. And some hormones are have receptors on every cell, like insulin and like um, what else, uh, thyroid. And some only have receptors on certain cells but every cell has hormone receptors and every hormone controls the function of some part that's not necessarily connected to it. So the thyroid gland lives up here in the neck and it secretes hormones that controls the metabolic rate of every cell in the body, right? The pancreas sits on the left side of the abdomen and it produces insulin, which gets secreted into the bloodstream travels around and affects every cell in the body and helps it uptake glucose into it. But there's other places in the body that are controlled by hormones that most people don't think of. There's the heart, there's a cardiac natriuretic peptide, right? Which is a hormone. There's hormones that control the kidney function and either the retention of or the release of fluid of, of uh, urine. So 
There's things that affect the brain. There's ones that affect our adrenal glands. There's hormones that affect the detox systems, the liver, the gallbladder. So all of these things are controlled by hormones, everything in the body. So when people say, what is nutritional endocrinology? It's the study of how we can control the functioning of just about every cell in the body through choices, through nutrients, what nutrients we put in, what foods we put in, whether that food is highly toxic or highly pure and, and helpful. Right? It's what we do in terms of what we think. Do we listen to the news or do we listen to Mozart? Do we listen to uh, meditation tapes or do we listen to, you know, things that stimulate and make us not function at our best? Things that stimulate the, para the sympathetic nervous system versus the parasympathetic nervous system. In a couple of weeks, I'm going to be doing a YouTube live on exactly that, the vagus nerve. So what is it that nutritional endocrinology controls? It's everything. What is it that we can use nutritional endocrinology to help and to heal? Pretty much everything. So when I teach people about nutritional endocrinology, I teach them about how all these body systems work, how all these glands and nutrients work in the body, and how we can shift them by how we think, how we act, what we listen to, what our relationships are, and of course, by what we eat, right? Food first. Food is critical to having good health. Food is critical to having good healthy function and helping you to overcome tendencies towards diseases, but even to sometimes reverse diseases. So I'm super excited about the fact that I get to teach this. I teach this in webinars all the time. I teach this on lives all the time. And I teach it inside my nutritional endocrinology program where we certify people to be nutritional endocrinology coaches and practitioners. And I am opening up to the public a, an event that we're having in November, which is about nutritional endocrinology and how it can help you to solve the fatigue crisis, the energy crisis that most people are suffering from right now. Just about every bad condition, every disease we know about manifests in some way as fatigue whether it's fatigue of the whole organism, meaning I just can't get, get through the day, or of individual organs and glands and cells where they just can't make enough energy to heal themselves, to reproduce themselves, to cleanse and detoxify and to do their functions. And so it all involves energy. And there's a whole process for getting to the heart of why people have low energy. Why do you have low energy? So if you're a health or wellness practitioner of any kind, doctor, nurse, a uh, health coach, nutritionist, dietitian, this is an event for you to come to. And we'll put the link down in the, in the comments and type in the comments if it's something that you're interested in. You can either do it online or you can come in person. There's advantages to coming in person because we get to network and it's a small event. We're keeping it deliberately small, no more than 50 people. In the past, we've had these events, but we, we have over 100 people. But I really wanted this to be small and intimate because it's our first one in a few years. And I'm craving being with people, really getting to know people and helping you on a deep and caring level. So nutritional endocrinology, I believe it's the, it's the future of healthcare. I believe that every single practitioner needs to understand the principles of nutritional endocrinology in order to help you get well. So comment below. Tell us what more you like. Tell us what you liked about this. Tell us what you want more of. And also subscribe to the channel. And at the end, you'll, you'll um, well, maybe you won't because this is live, but subscribe to the channel and be all aware of all the different stuff that we're putting out. And until next time, be well. Wow.